Hi. Have you missed me? How long has it actually been? One minute. So it's been two months since I posted a video on my YouTube channel. She's back. She's better than ever. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing, do I want that light on? Yes, I do, I can already tell. Wow, it looks like I'm telling you a nighttime story. In the night garden. So in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is a updated version of how to wax your underarm. <laughs> is an updated version of how to wax your underarms at home. That is my very first YouTube video on my channel. And yeah, I don't know what to say about it. I don't speak in it much. My hair is outrageous. <laughs> and you can just tell how nervous I am. And it's really bad quality. So yeah, I'm gonna update that for you and give you a more detailed one, more like just, just a better video. You guys deserve a better video, come on. I need to change out of this, so I'll see you when I'm wearing something different. Hi, I'm back and I've just been procrastinating on TikTok for the past half an hour, I wanna say. So I'm gonna show you my armpits now. Don't run away, <laughs> don't run away. Do you know what? They're not actually that bad. I said this last time. No, they are actually. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to go from this crusty, hairy armpit to this smooth with a blemish. That's an ingrown hair, but I don't know how to get it out because it's such an awkward position. For me to get it. I think it's an ingrown hair. Whatever it is, it's really sore, so don't even touch it. To this smooth, bright armpit. Looks airbrushed. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step on what to do and how to wax your armpits at home. I'm only gonna do one armpit because you just don't need me to do two. So I'm gonna make this as detailed as possible without being boring. <laughs> Let's get started. What you'll need is you'll need a wax warmer. Mine is the Hive wax warmer, it's the dual one. So it's got two holes. <laughs> sticks, waxing sticks. I literally don't know where I got these from. Amazon. Amazon does everything. Cotton pads. You need the most important things, which is the pre-wax cleanser, the after-wax lotion, and the medicated body powder. Oh, the most important thing actually is you'll need your wax. So you can use any wax. You can use soft wax, hard wax, whichever one you prefer. I personally prefer hard wax. So I use the Star Pill Star Soft and the Star Pill Black Film and Pink Film Wax. But that's in the drawer and I can't bother getting out. It's just pink. <laughs> so yeah. Step number one, turn your wax heater on. So the key thing to wax in is you don't want your wax to be too hot or too cold. And to tell if it's too hot, clearly it's gonna be far too runny. And you don't want that to happen because it'll burn your skin and it's just not pleasant really. You also don't want your wax to be too cold because when you apply it, it won't grab onto the hairs properly. It'll probably just glide along the hairs and pull at them and it's just gonna it's gonna hurt. No, <laughs> we want it to be as pain-free as possible. You want the perfect consistency, which is like a thick honey consistency. Like you should be able to just flip it round. It's just only stick like so, but have like a slow movement to it, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that's the main consistency you want. You want like a thick honey consistency. So what I do for this wax heater is I turn it on full, let it all melt, blah, 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 and then I turn it right down to 50. Sometimes I'll have to turn it up a bit, there's no set temperature to keep it at the same. Like you just have to keep flicking up and down. And yeah, you just have to keep an eye on it as well. Onto the armpit. Check the hair length. So the length of these, they are pretty long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trim my hairs so they aren't as long as what they are now. <laughs> because it does, it is a fact, it does hurt more. <laughs> Perfect. So after I've trimmed up my I know this said eyebrow hairs. So after I've trimmed the hair, I'm gonna take my pre-wax cleanser and a cotton pad. I'm just gonna generously put some cleanser on there and cleanse the area. This literally does what it says on the tin. It cleanses the area that you're gonna wax. It gets rid of dirt, sweat, things like that. Things that you don't want your wax to go come across because it probably won't stick properly. And yeah, it just preps the area so you're ready to go. Now I'm gonna go in with the medicated powder and just sprinkle it on the area that I'm gonna wax and just rub that in. And yes, you will make a mess with this. Look at my top. Looks like a deodorant stain. So what the powder does is it just dries out the area so the wax has every chance it can to cling to your hairs, which is what we want. We want it to grab every single hair and pull it out. Now, I'm gonna take a stick. I'm gonna get my choice of wax. I'm gonna start off on the top section of hair. I'm just gonna go like that, 
I've just got the whole armpit really. <laughs> nice one Jazz. Now because I know that that is way too thin, <laughs> I'm going to go in with a different stick. We never double dip, ladies and gentlemen, never. So we're just going to let that dry. I've made sure that I've left myself a lip at the top so I can flick it, grab onto it and then rip it down. Which makes life a lot easier. So make sure you always leave yourself a lip. Okay, so I've got my lip and the reason why my lip is so big is because I did go above the hair because you don't want to, oh, you don't want to flick the lip where there's hair caught to it because that will just irritate you. So you want to go somewhere where there's no hair. Flick your lip so you have something to hold on to and it's pain free. And what I like to do is pull my skin with my hand here. But you can, you literally find just pulling your arm back as far as possible. But I'm just going to do that anyway. And then just pull when you're ready. <sighs> Holy moly. Ow. Look how much hair came off that. We're going to do the bottom part and go downwards and then rip it upwards. You can reapply your powder as well if... You can feel the area getting more moist because you do tend to sweat, it is absolutely normal. And I'm just going to go on the bottom part, I'm just going to flick up, pull my skin and flick up the lip that I've created for myself. And as you can see this is literally painless because like I said, there's no hair there. So now that I've got a good lip to pull, pull on, I'm going to stretch my arm back and just pull. Just like that. Because the side of that was too thin it did peel off but that is honestly, didn't even hurt. So my armpit looks fresh to you. But it's not, it is not. This is the time for clean up strips. What is a clean up strip you ask? So the tiny hairs that are left over, you literally just take more strips and go over them and peel them off. And you're probably thinking to yourself now like, whoa, I didn't think you could go over the same place twice when you wax. You actually can't do that with soft wax, but with hard wax, genius, you can. Thank God. And that's because it doesn't take away the top layer of your skin like soft wax does. So this just clings to your hair so you can go over the same area more than once. Anyway, so I've got my bead of wax and I'm just going to apply it all across my armpit this time just because there's a lot less hair there and it won't hurt as much. This is just tiny amounts of hair that I need to just get gone. So this is dry pretty much instantly like that and it honestly doesn't even hurt because like I said there's barely anything there and sometimes you don't even need to go in with another strip like for this armpit I'm not even going to bother because I've only got about four hairs that I need to tweeze out so I'm just going to turn my wax oh wait I'm actually going to do my chest while we're here because I do have a hairy chest <laughs> Okay, so after the tweezing is done, my armpit is fresh. So the last step that I'm going to do is take my after wax moisturiser and squirt it. Oh god. On the armpit and rub it in. Oh my god, this just gives back so much moisture to the armpit and makes it feel so smooth and hydrated and like just amazing. So the aftercare for waxing the underarms or waxing in general is no hot showers, oh, I've got an itch, wait. This is 24 to 48 hours after your waxing session, okay? So, number one, no hot showers or baths, only cool to lukewarm, no saunas, hot tubs or steam treatments, no sports or exercise and no sexual activity if you've been waxed in a certain area. <laughs> Don't apply deodorants or moisturizers or powders to the waxed area. Why am I swaying? I don't know what I'm doing. You want to avoid swimming in chlorinated water, so swimming pools. You even want to avoid swimming in like lakes or anything. I don't know who's going to get a wax and be like, oh yay, let me just go swim in a lake. I don't know who's going to do that, but you just never know. You don't want to do that because bacteria, your pores, blah, blah, blah. And then what you do want to do is you want to wear loose fitted clothes so the area that you're waxed can breathe. Whoa. You don't, you don't want to wear tight fitting clothes. Oh, make sure they're clean as well. Clean clothes only. Thank you very much. To prevent ingrown hairs, this is an important one, guys. It's one that I don't think a lot of people do or know. If you know it, fair enough. If you don't, here you go. To prevent ingrown hairs, a few days after your appointments, gently exfoliate the area. This will get rid of dead skin. You want to exfoliate the area regularly. Not too much and not too aggressive, just gentle exfoliation to get rid of dead skin cells. And when your new hair just starts to grow through, it has a chance to break through the skin. It's not being clogged by anything. And to moisturise the area every day. If you don't moisturise anyway, what are you doing? Crusty? Crusty the clown? What are you playing at? Moisturise is key. Jesus. If you do experience a bit of soreness or small bumps, like small red bumps, even like 
bleeding sometimes when you do wax, like just little dots of blood. Why do I point to my armpit every time? It is extremely common, it's normal. Don't panic about it, it will probably last for up to 24 to 48 hours. So yeah, it's completely normal, do not panic. Because I remember the first time I got waxed years ago was on my legs and my legs went dead red. And I was like, what is this? Like, what are these little bumps on my leg? Is this normal? And the lady didn't tell me. And I was just like, am I allergic to wax? No. And to keep your waxes smooth, smooth, honey, wax every four to six weeks. Honestly, do it. I've noticed the biggest difference with my underarms and down there, <laughs> the biggest difference ever. It's just amazing. So, yeah. So now that I've got a red chest, that is the end of the video. Woohoo! I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it was informative. I hope it helped you. I know a lot of you are now waxing because we have been in quarantine for over a year. Is it over a year? Or it's nearly over a year, should I say. <laughs> How crazy is that? So yeah, um, you probably all know what you're doing, but I just thought I'd make another video because why not? And to redeem myself from that first video of me as a YouTube baby, AKA, bag but if you did like the video don't forget to leave a thumb <laughs> if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe if you want to i'm not going to force you to but i'd subscribe if i were you so my armpits are now hair free oh do you just love that